Module 1, Anatomy of the Cervix. The cervix forms the lower portion of the uterus and projects into the upper vagina. It is cylindrical in shape, approximately 3 to 4 centimetres long and 2.5 centimetres in diameter. The outer surface of the cervix that projects into the vagina, the ectocervix, is covered by multilayered squamous cells. In contrast, the endocervical canal, which leads from the ectocervix to the endometrial cavity, is lined by columnar glandular cells and complex infolding of this epithelium forms numerous crypts. The point where these two tissue types meet is called the squamocolumnar junction. At puberty and during the early reproductive years, the cervix changes shape such that the lower endocervical canal everts into the vagina where, over time, the surface is gradually replaced by squamous epithelium as a result of metaplasia. The area in which this replacement occurs is called the transformation zone and it is this metaplastic squamous epithelium that is most susceptible to human papillomavirus HPV infection. While most cases of cervical cancer are due to infection with high-risk HPV types, not all HPV infections necessarily lead to cancer.